Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakwa continues his thought-provoking series titled The Leadership Secrets of Jesus. Today he speaks about the anointing. Let's join in. I've been sharing on the subject, The Leadership Secrets of Jesus. We're talking about leadership and we start looking at Jesus. The greatest leader that has ever walked on the earth is Jesus. He came to the earth with an objective. The objective was to win souls. So 1 Timothy 1.15, he says, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Because leadership starts with vision. So I said that the first thing that he did was that his vision was clear. Tell me, but you need a clear vision. Number two, I said that you need to be single-minded. He didn't let titles sway him from his objective. Number three, today I want to talk about the anointing. Tell somebody the anointing. One unique quality that Jesus had when it came to his leadership was a quality that you cannot find in unbelievers. It's the anointing. So when Jesus came into the world, he had an assignment. But he didn't start the assignment till he was anointed. So Acts 10.38, it says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Every Christian needs the anointing to be a very good leader. So Jesus did not attempt to even lead anybody till he was anointed. Next verse, in Luke 4, 18, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So here he makes the same announcement again. He was just about to start his ministry. Then he said, I cannot do this job without the anointing. So I want to remind you that as a Christian, God expects you to be anointed so that you will be a good leader. So before his disciples started leading, he told them, don't attempt to lead the church without the anointing. So he said, Go and wait in the city of Jerusalem and tarry ye until you be endued with power from on high. In Acts 1 8, he said to them, You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Ask your neighbor, are you anointed? You know, people think that the anointing is only for pastors. No. The power of God is for all of us. Every Christian has to be anointed. But before I go into it, let me just explain some definitions so that we don't get confused. So number one, what's the anointing? When they say anointing, it means to be wrapped with ointment or some oil has been poured on you. That's what that means. Now that word anointing in the Bible, it also stands for or is symbolic of the power of God. Why? Because in those days, to be installed a king, they will take you to the church, then they will pour oil on you and anoint you. And when they anoint you, it means that now you have become a king. So the power of a king to rule the land, to rule the subjects, has been given to you. In 1 Samuel 10, 1, the Bible says, Samuel took the vial of oil, poured it upon his head, and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? So the kings combined in those days, the, the Israeli kings, they combined both political and spiritual power. So God wanted to make Saul a king. Then he said, Saul, for me, if you want to lead, you cannot lead without the anointing. Spiritual power. So for you to lead 
as somebody in the kingdom, you need a spiritual power. Even if you are going to lead, even as a political head, you need to be anointed. Otherwise, you are like any unbeliever walking around. Thank you for joining us. Today we learned that the anointing distinguishes you as a leader. As Christians, we need this unique thing called the anointing. Tune in again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Finally out of my sick bed. Dear Kakra, I sent you a message asking for prayer for healing since I had been sick for weeks and couldn't eat. You replied that you had prayed for me. After your prayer, I was able to eat real food for the first time in a long time. Since then, I have been gaining strength every day and I'm finally coming out of my sick bed. I give thanks to God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counselling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.